Hello there and welcome back to Bolts for Bucks. My name is Stephen Bresnan and today we're going to discuss muzzle brake versus no muzzle brake. So if you are familiar with muzzle brakes, basically it's a, uh, a device made of, of some sort of steel or metal that goes on the end of your barrel. It's usually threaded on, but you can also get clamp on ones that clamp on with screws onto the end of your muzzle. And basically their, their primary use is, or really their main use, is to reduce uh, felt recoil, recoil of the rifle, thus allowing you to maybe quickly be able to take uh, follow-up shots uh, more effectively on targets or um, shoot more comfortably um, with a heavily recoiling rifle. Now, um, if you've watched a lot of my hunting videos, you've probably noticed that a lot of my hunting rifles actually do have muzzle brakes on them. Um, and it is very much a, a personal preference sort of thing. But we're going to go over some of the pros and cons of a muzzle brake versus a, a hunting rifle without a muzzle brake. So, First off, a, a, a con to having a muzzle brake would be that it adds a little bit extra weight um, on the end of your of rifle, essentially, and, and that can affect the balance, but it's usually such a small amount that it's unnoticeable to, to most people. The, the second con would be that uh, it adds length to your barrel, and if you're hunting in thick brush or areas where you're going to be crawling through stuff and whatnot to get to your hunting area. Um, it is easier uh, for a longer uh, barrel, basically, because you have about a two inch muzzle brake on the end of that for it to get caught onto stuff if you have a muzzle brake. So basically it makes your barrel longer, um, thus creating possibly a, uh, a hazard when, and when going through thick brush. Um, now, uh, a pro obviously would be that it, it reduces recoil. And reducing recoil can allow you to shoot um, multiple targets uh, much more effectively usually because it, it helps control that recoil and it allows you to usually get on target sooner after the first shot um, and, and make follow-up shots. Also, it reduces recoil and this allows you usually to shoot more comfortably. And if you're shooting a very heavily recoiling cartridge, um, something like a 300 uh, Ultra Meg or whatnot, um, this could allow you to inherently uh, shoot more accurately, basically, because you're more comfortable behind the gun. And uh, it could allow you to practice more because you might enjoy shooting it more if it's not hurting you every shot that goes off. So basically, it, it reduces flinch. So those are kind of the pros and cons of it. Uh, uh, another con of having muzzle brake is that unless you bring basically a finger condom to put over the muzzle brake when you're going through snow and rain and, and stuff like that, um, things can get into the side ports of the muzzle brake and into your barrel easier than if you just have, you know, a regular uh, crowned bore um, where you can just put a piece of electric tape over the end of it or, you know, it's just less of a chance of stuff getting in there. Um, now, why do I, I hunt with muzzle brakes uh, for the large part because I find that I just basically uh, shoot more comfortably and therefore I shoot more accurately usually with a muzzle brake on my rifle. Um, however, if you practice without a muzzle brake on your rifle and you're very comfortable with it and you're used to it, um, then that's not to say that you couldn't shoot as accurately or even more precise than I do with a muzzle brake. So, the biggest complaint though, the biggest con that we haven't discussed is hunting with a muzzle brake. It amplifies the noise dramatically. So normally when you shoot and there's no muzzle brake on a rifle, the, the sound kind of exits and goes forward out the end. Whereas when you're using a muzzle brake, it has these um, ports in it and it redirects the, uh, the air and the sound to the sides. Um, and what that does is it, it, it amplifies the sound not for yourself, um, but usually when I find myself hunting by myself and I shoot a rifle with a muzzle brake, it's not unbearable. It's the people, if you have somebody with you, if you have somebody next to you or people around you, it can be very uh, painful to the ears. Um, it could cause hearing loss or damage to their ears and it can be uh, very much a nuisance to, so most people that don't hunt with a muzzle brake, it's because of just the sheer uh, loudness of, of, sh of firing a rifle with one on it. And they don't want their own ears or the people around them to have to go through that. So, um, but in all reality, um, it is obviously more comfortable to shoot with one because uh, it reduces so much recoil. 
Hope you enjoyed this really short explanation of, of hunting with a muzzle brake versus not hunting with a muzzle brake. Um, one thing to note is if you do have an ultra light rifle, you know, a mountain, uh, true mountain, you know, mountain goat hunting rifle, uh, sheep rifle, like we would like to say, um, that's meant to be ultra light. It is going to obviously add weight and bulk. Um, and it does aesthetically sometimes take away uh, from the look of the rifle um, if you have a very thin profile barrel. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, go ahead and remember to like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the section below.